One of the biggest challenges that I face as a business owner is keeping up with the sheer amount of content that I need to produce. I personally try to focus my time on actually growing the business. And because my energy is so focused on that work stream, it sometimes feels like I don't have enough brain space or sheerly just enough time to actually put energy and effort into creating content. I've been doing a lot of research and I think I found a tool that will really help me with this problem. I'm gonna share that tool with you today. The tool is called HubSpot's Content Agent and it's doing a lot of the heavy lifting for me when it comes to creating content. I'm going to show you exactly how you can use this tool to create things like landing pages, blog posts, case studies, and even podcast episodes. You'll see how it works in real time and also how it helps you create content that actually reflects your brand and helps you reach the right people. Follow along with me by clicking the link in the description. Let's get going. So we're inside the content agent. I'm gonna start with the landing page section. First up, it's going to ask you to choose a goal. Now, for me, the goal is to book meetings. I've recently launched a social media marketing agency. It's called Social People. And one of the main ways that I'm getting clients are through consultations. So therefore, I want this landing page to really help me get as many bookings and as many calls as I possibly can. So next, there is an option to connect your calendar, which is what I'm going to do here. I'm actually going to update the availability settings later. I actually only take calls on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I do it this way because it helps me protect my focus time. So that's a little hack for anyone out there. It really, really helps me manage my week. Now, I don't want people to have to click externally to book a call with me. So having this calendar integration is gonna be amazing. I've actually tried this in the past where someone has to click a link and it takes you to another app or another website to book a call. And what ends up happening is that you lose people, which means that you lose leads. So having a calendar integrated into this landing page is going to be very, very important. So now we get to the part where we define the purpose of the page. So I'm gonna keep this really simple. It's a landing page for a social media marketing agency that encourages people to book a consultation. I'm gonna add a little bit more detail too. So we actually offer two different services. We have full service social media management, and then we have this other offer called the Blueprint, which is a full strategic analysis and audit of a brand's social media channels. And then when I look at it, I kind of feel like it could probably be improved. Now I know that this could be worded more clearly. If you're like me, then you won't be a professional copywriter, but you'll still want to produce a website that features copy that is persuasive and really helps you reach your goals. So what you can actually do is use the enhanced description feature, which I'm gonna use right now. It completely transforms what I've just written. So the end result is something that's a lot more sharp and sounds a lot more professional. So you can actually spend your time growing your business rather than training to become a professional copywriter for the sole purpose of writing great copy for your website. Okay, so next up, we need to enter some basic information about the company. Now, I already have an ideal customer profile set up within HubSpot, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click that. The domain is preloaded and I'm switching the language to English UK. So next up, I'm going to upload an image. This is the fun part. The thing is though, my business is pretty new, so I don't have access to an entire content library yet. Back in the day, I probably would have invested thousands of pounds to do a whole photo shoot before I even launched my business. Fortunately, I don't need to do that anymore and I can actually just select a stock image that really captures the vibe. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. HubSpot also has an AI image capability, which you can use to generate custom images. So how it basically works is you can upload videos, transcripts, text documents, anything that you help will communicate the vibe that you're going for. And the tool will understand what you've sent and actually come up with an image for you. So with that done, I can go ahead and click generate. And here is the result. You've got a full landing page, which is already structured and formatted super well. It starts with the calendar right at the top, which as you recall, is the main purpose of this landing page. And then as we scroll down, there's a section for logos, for social proof, the services are clearly laid out. You can see where it mentions my social media management service as well as my blueprint service. Everything's covered. The structure is super solid. The messaging is strong. So from here, it's just a case of tweaking the copy and making sure that it aligns with your brand. So next up, we're going to head into the podcast section. Now, I actually used to run my own podcast. It was all about content creation and the behind the scenes of being a full-time creator. If you've ever considered creating your own podcast, I highly recommend it. It. My podcast allowed me to expand my network because I got to interview a lot of amazingly talented people, but also 
it really strengthened my bond with my audience because it's such an intimate listening experience. So I really felt like I was connecting with my audience on a deeper level. Honestly, the main reason why I stopped running my podcast was simply because I didn't have the time. Now though, there is a tool that you can use that will save you a lot of time when it comes to prepping and creating your own podcast. Let's dive into the podcast section so I can show you exactly how to use this tool. So first thing we're gonna do is add in a description for this podcast. So I'm gonna base this description on the podcast that I used to run. So it was all about content creation, social media, and the realities of being a content creator. There's also a section here where you can actually drop reference files into HubSpot. This is super useful if you create content elsewhere. For example, I have a lot of prep documents that I use when I'm getting ready to film my YouTube videos. I could actually download those and drop them straight into HubSpot and the tool will use it to inform my podcast episode. So the industry is set to marketing. The audience is United Kingdom. Let's move on to the title generation stage. What I love about this section is that it uses SEO data to suggest titles that aren't just catchy and engaging, but also well optimized. I'm a little bit of a nerd, so I love this feature. Having a title that's well optimized is the difference between having a successful podcast or one that just sits on a shelf. So you can see the monthly search volume and a difficulty score next to each one. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Mastering Social Media Marketing for Creators. It's a strong title with high search interest and it really fits the tone of what I want to cover. So next up is the outline section. So this includes everything that you would expect, right? It breaks down the podcast episode based on the different sections. So it's covering building a personal brand, strategy tips, monetization, common challenges, etc. What I'm gonna do is rearrange this slightly because I love all the different sections that it's included, but I want to make sure that the most impactful section is at the start. That's a hack that I used to use in my old podcast to try and increase the retention. So we're gonna move this around. I'm gonna start with monetization because everyone always loves to listen to the money part. So we'll start with that first. And then we're gonna go straight into building a personal brand, then strategy tips, and then we'll finish with common challenges. So I'm happy with this layout now. So we're gonna move on to the next section. I'm gonna go ahead and click generate the script. And honestly, this is spot on. So the full episode is written out for me. It sounds super, super natural. This is exactly what I would have written if I was typing this up by hand. It just would have taken me significantly longer. <laughs> and if I wanted to, I could even choose an AI voice to record it. Now I love to record the content myself. It's one of my favorite parts of the process. So I probably won't use that tool. But if you were someone who wanted to say a bit behind the scenes, or maybe you wanted to save some time, that could be a great tool for you. Additionally, if you're like me and you like to ad lib and just speak a bit more freely when you're recording content, then you could actually just use the outline. For me, it helps me come across a lot more authentic and a lot more natural in my content. So that's probably the section that I would use. You also get a space to upload artwork, add links, add notes, literally every single thing that you would need to ensure that your podcast is ready to publish. Now I'm trying out the case study tool. So I'm gonna to put together a case study based on a recent client. It was a fashion brand that saw a 20% lift in social awareness. So I really wanna champion this brand because what an incredible result. Like this is the type of thing I wanna share with anyone who's landing on my brand's website. So I'm going to plug in the details. We're gonna start with the location, so United Kingdom. I then need to choose the company from my client list. What actually makes this one extra special as well is the fact that this brand was one of the first brands that I worked with as part of my agency. I actually worked with them before I even officially launched the agency. So it's a really special case study to me and it's one that I'm super, super proud of. Testimonials are usually one of my favorite types of content to use, but case studies go even further. They're basically a really powerful form of social proof. And when you have a new company like mine, one of the biggest challenges you'll face is convincing people that you're good at what you do because you're new, right? But when you have case studies, they serve as a proof point for people so that they could trust you and really believe in what you create. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and create one today. And it's gonna be super, super quick because we're gonna use HubSpot to do so. So if we carry on scrolling down, there's an option to customize the detail, which I'm definitely gonna use to make sure that the tone and the structure really suits this case study. In order for me to do that, I'm definitely gonna use the upload document section. So let's select a document that reflects this case study well. 
We're gonna go with the original blueprint that I created for the brand. This does a great job at providing an overview of what we actually achieved for the brand. And I also don't need to do any additional work. I can just share the work that I've already done. Once that's uploaded, I'm gonna click generate. And just like that, we have a finished case study. It's clear, really easy to understand and provides a great overview of what we actually achieved for the brand. In previous roles, that would have taken me weeks to create and we've just managed to do it in a matter of minutes. So the last tool that I'm gonna show you is blog posts. So let's jump into my HubSpot. We're gonna click create. And what's really cool is that it has a recommendation tool. So it's gonna actually suggest some topics for you to write your blog posts about. I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually write what I want this blog post to be about though, but that is a great source for inspiration above. So I want this blog post to be about social media marketing for small businesses. And as you scroll down, it's gonna give you the option to actually enter a keyword as well. This is really useful because it's gonna help your blog post rank within Google and search. I'm gonna keep the keyword as the same, so social media marketing for small businesses. And the reason why I wanna do this is because those are basically the people I'm trying to target with this blog post. I'm trying to attract small businesses who are interested in marketing. Let's change the location to United Kingdom select the blog I want it to appear under, select the industry, which again is going to be marketing. And then we are good to go. A final section that you don't necessarily have to use, but I'm gonna use is the ideal customer profile section. So I've already got one set up. So I'm gonna pick that and we can click to the next stage. Okay, so now we're gonna pick a blog post title. I've got three options here, but there is actually an option to generate more titles. I can already see one that I really like though, and it's the first one, which is effective social media advertising for small businesses. I'm gonna pick this one because it has a great search score. It's a little bit difficult to rank, but using this tool, I'm pretty confident that we can create something that will really work. So I'm gonna select that one and move on to the next stage. Now this is another optional section, but it is super, super useful if you wanna make sure that your blog post is really tailored to your brand and your previous work. It basically allows you to drop in files. So these could be audio files, imagery, text, transcripts, videos, etc., that HubSpot will then use to make your blog post even better. So I really like this section because it allows you to add in reference files, which is basically content that's going to inform the blog post. So I'm gonna click browse and I'm going to add a text file. I think I'm actually just gonna use one of my documents that I wrote to prep for a YouTube video. We're gonna use that. Great. So next up, it's going to let me review the outline of the blog post. So I can look at things like the blog post description, which here it says, unlock the potential of social media advertising and watch your small business thrive in the digital age. Love it. And then as we scroll down, it's gonna give me a few different sections that I can move around. So it's showing me the paragraph headers. And this is something that I always like to pay attention to because my usual approach to creating content is I always try to lead with one of the most engaging parts of the content. So here I've got five different paragraph headers. I'm gonna move these around just to really reflect what I'm trying to create. I'm gonna start with identifying the right social media platforms for your business because I know that's a really hot topic. Then I'm gonna move into the importance of social media advertising crafting compelling content. I'm gonna move up measuring success and then finish with utilizing targeted advertising to maximize ROI. Really happy with that layout. So now we can move on to the next stage, which is to generate the blog post. And here we go. So it's literally pulled together what the blog post is going to look like on my actual website. So it's come up with an image using AI, which is amazing. It's very relevant to what I'm trying to create. And if we scroll down, we can see all of the different sections. It's a really great length as well, not too overwhelming. And then it also pulls through other potential articles or blog posts that are similar so that hopefully people stay on the site for a bit longer and continue to read my work, which is amazing. All I have to do is hit publish and it's done. And just like that, my blog is finished in minutes. Don't forget that if you wanna make tweaks to the copy or to the layout, HubSpot have the AI tools that will allow you to do that.
And there you have it. I've just automated a lot of my content and it only took a few minutes. I created landing pages, blog posts, case studies, and podcast episodes in a fraction of the time. And you could do the exact same. All you need to do is head to the link in the description to get started with HubSpot and see what it could do for your business. I'm Jade, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.